I can't leave my windows open. I had to get a security system. A recent spike in crime has residents in St. Bernard on high alert, and now the community is taking action to stop it. Nine on your side's Tamika Artis spoke with one woman whose house has been burglarized twice in recent weeks, and she also says she is not alone. St. Bernard police say that there have been more than two dozen cars and homes broken into here since September 1st. Someone threw a brick through this woman's window, shattering her sense of security and peace of mind. Um, still having nightmares. I still think about it. These Halloween decorations outside aren't the only things terrifying about the house on West Ross where Allison Dotson grew up. They took my father's coins that he left to me. They took my Xbox One, a Wii U, my video games, two TVs. Allison still doesn't know who they are, the thieves who broke in not once but twice in eight days. They threw a boulder rock through my dining room window and went through it that way. But the damage to her home and her heart has been done. I'm very scared, nervous. I can't stay here alone. I have to have somebody with me. Police confirm an uptick in break-ins in this historic neighborhood since the 1st of September. Director of Public Safety Jonathan Stuchel spoke with nine on your side by phone about these so-called crimes of opportunity. St. Bernard is kind of a pass-through community. And so, you know, you've got people, you know, coming, you know, going from Vine Street and kind of veering back into the various neighborhoods. So, you know, and, and people look for that. The village hosted a special meeting on Thursday night to answer questions about other recent criminal activity and to encourage residents to be vigilant and active in the local block watch program. Getting the residents in, involved is, is key here because we need them as the eyes and ears of the community. Having recently lost her mother, the electronic eyes of a newly installed security system is the only thing that Allison says she can rely on to protect her and her home. I just want St. Bernard to be a better place. Police tell me that this case remains open, but in the meantime, Allison says that she doesn't know when or if she'll ever feel safe to return to the home that she grew up in. In St. Bernard, I'm Tamika Artis, 9 on your side.